Hi and welcome to our overview of the N6078 and N6079 2 megapixel network bullet cameras from 3S. This short video is going to cover the uh, key features for these products, we'll cover the physical design, and lastly we'll finish on our physical connections to make sure you've got this camera installed correctly. Both of these cameras are part of the 2 megapixel series from 3S. They offer up to 15 frames per second at that full 2 megapixel resolution. You can drop the resolution down to a 720p or lower in the camera and actually stream up to 30 frames per second um, if your installation requirement uh, doesn't require the full 2 megapixel or if you need more frames. The cameras utilize H.264 and Motion JPEG dual codec compression. They are dual streaming capable and the models come with 3D digital noise reduction. And digital noise is something that is present in every camera. It's more noticeable the higher up in resolution you go. So in a megapixel camera, this is a great feature to have. And what noise is commonly referred to as is static or graininess in the image. It's especially more prominent in low light. Uh, this filter is gonna help remove all of that out of the image so uh, you can capture the uh, details that you're expecting. These cameras also come with the 3S IVA suite. Um, there's three different alert types in this suite, the first of which is motion detection. The thing to note, motion detection is standard pixel-based motion detection, so it's not going to be able to classify and know that an actual person is moving in the scene. It's going to look for a certain amount of pixels to be distorted, and it's going to classify that as movement and uh, send that alert out. Second is a tamper detection. You set a predefined zone in an area. If a certain amount of that zone is covered up, obstructed, uh, whether it be a person or an object moving into that field of view or uh, the camera being uh, completely obscured by like spray paint, it's going to throw that as a tamper alert. And lastly, it's a privacy mask. So if you have a field of view, you can't quite uh, get that field of view completely narrowed down without having a sensitive area in the scene. You can draw a box. It'll block that out, as shown here on the bottom right by that red box. To jump right into the specifics on the N6078 and N6079, uh, both cameras use a 1 3rd inch progressive scan CMOS image sensor. They are true day-night models with mechanical ICR filters. So between color and black and white, there is a physical filter being removed or red dropped in front of the image sensor and they offer a smart IR array. The uh, smart IR has a distance of 50 foot in these models with a 30 degree beam width. The smart IR is going to come in handy because as objects get closer to the camera, the camera is going to sense that that object is closer and it's going to start to back down the IR light so you're not overexposing something as it gets closer. They are two-way audio capable. They have a line in, a line out. That does require a uh, preamp microphone and a power speaker uh, for use. There's a sensor input and an alarm output for use with external sensor I.O. for uh, for alerting of some sort. Um, and there's a micro SD card slot for local storage on both of these models. Um, that can be used for still frame capture or for full motion video. We use a micro SD HC up to 32 gig max and a class 10 is the recommended type of card for that. Both models are PoE capable, standard 802.3AF, or if you want to power them separately, they will work on DC 12 volts as well. Here's where you really see the difference between the two cameras. The uh, main difference is really just the lens. The N6078 is verifocal with a 3 to 10 millimeter lens. At the widest 3 millimeter setting, you're going to have a 94 degree field of view. At the most uh, zoomed in at 10 millimeter, you're going to get a 29 degree horizontal viewing angle. The uh, N6079 comes with a 3.6 millimeter fixed lens. Um, that lens gives you a 77 degree horizontal viewing angle and uh, cannot be adjusted in terms of uh, how close or far away an object might appear in that scene. You physically have to move the camera at that point if you're not happy with your field of view. In terms of physical design, the cameras are white and black in color. They are all aluminum housings and they do have an IP66 weather rating so they can be put in an outdoor environment all on their own. Um, they also have a negative 4 temperature rating and that's negative 4 Fahrenheit uh, for low levels. The uh, total diameter is going to be 2.56 inches on both cameras. And the only real difference in the housing is the length. Um, if you include the uh, weatherized fitting on the back, the 6078 is going to be 8.34 inches, as to where the 6079 is going to be 7.76 inches. There's a single quarter inch 20 threaded mounting hole, which is technically on the bottom of the whole uh, bottom of the camera if you look at where the logo is located. Um, you can ceiling mount these cameras if need be. Um, just note that when you do that, you have to do a digital flip within the camera menu uh, during the install and the 3S logo will appear upside down. We do also show this camera with the uh, optional mounting bracket, the HMMB-G9003. Uh, just note that does not come with the camera and that is a separate purchase. To get to the physical connections of these cameras, you actually remove the end cap completely off the back of the camera. It's three Phillips head screws, so just uh, loosen those up, the end cap will pop right off. The one thing to note, um, as with other bullet cameras, make sure that you actually feed the cables through the end cap piece uh, before you terminate them in the camera. If you don't do this, you're not going to be able to get the end cap back on the camera to finish the install correctly. And to give you a brief look at the uh, rear of the camera for physical connections, you have a single LAN socket that's going to be for your data and for your PoE input if you're using PoE. There's a micro SD card slot on the bottom left or mid left. 
the reset button. Um, that's going to reset factory defaults. It's a five second hold to get that uh, to take place. There's an external I.O. connector. There's a push pin connector. That's going to be for your audio in, audio out, alarm in, alarm out, and then your ground. And then the uh, DC power inlet is on the bottom right if you are wanting to power these off a separate DC-12 power port. And this concludes our overview of the N6078 and N6079 2-megapixel network bullet cameras from 3S. Thank you for watching.